All right, this is OXBF looking at day 10 admin of code. Um, and it seems, give this a quick read through, and I get a bunch of lines that look like this. And <clears throat> basically there's four, there's four pairs of things that can, uh, I'm gonna, there's a chunk, and a chunk can be any opening and closing like this. And so you can have um, nested chunks inside of each other, like that, and any of the examples they show here. Um, the li every line here is broken. It's either broken because it's incomplete, which means you get to the end and there's still things that are open, but that everything is so far nested correctly, or uh, that it's corrupt, which is where, where you get to a close that doesn't have an open. Um, and so, you know, in this one, it gets to a place where it expects to find that. I think it's right there. It expects the closing square bracket, but it finds the curl. Um, and so based on which illegal character, so I'm supposed to ignore, in part one at least, I'm ignoring somewhere else. Uh, it, some are incomplete and some are corrupted. Well, let's see. Stop at the first incorrect closing character on each corrupted line. Give it some points. And I'm ignoring the incomplete one now. Almost certainly that's coming in part two. Um, so we'll look here. Um, get our example input here and this. Um, <clears throat> I've got my stub here where I'm going to read them into lines. Nothing fancy there. We'll do four line in lines. Loop over them. Um, also keep four equals zero. I'm going to need the points as well. Points equals. There. Okay. Some time. What is it? Okay, that looks good. So we have our points. Um, okay, there's our points. Um, so now four line and line. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to create, I guess, for each line. And this is where I could use a list, but there's a more um, mem efficient, speed efficient um, thing called, a, I believe it's pronounced deck, where it's where it prints as DQ. Deck. So we will, for each line, we'll create a queue called deck. Like so we'll do 4C in line. Um, if C in that, 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 that. So if it's one of the opening ones, then I'm going to queue.append. Uh, if else. Okay, so now if it's not, I want to match it up with the um, with its pair. So L, L, L if C equals and becomes kind of in a brute force C way, but equals that. If Q minus one equals that top Two dot pop. Remove. We'll remove that last one, and continue. Um, else, uh, four plus equals point. Uh, is the point based on what I should have seen or what I did see? First illegal character. So that's what's going to be C in this case. Points of C. Um, then I'm done with that line, so I want to break. Okay, I'm gonna 
this is not, I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this, but I'm probably going to just do this uh, three more times. So got that one. Now we need else. Now we need the square bracket. Matches up. Just remove that one from the queue. Else points. Now we need the squiggly. And the triangle. Okay, see. It feels too easy if this is done right now, but let's see. John day 10. Here we go. Invalid syntax. Uh, yeah, that's, that's clearly not Python. Let's fix that. There, not like that. Oh, um, what did I mean? Four. Thanks. Zero. No point. Did we get any points? It was unlikely. Um, up here and Print you come up C. That, so that that pair is going to match up and remove. Ooh, somewhere I had my that example. Let's go here. Okay, so let's see what happens in that first example. Um, so the queue starts empty. This and add this. But the first time we're going to get, we should get to a point where we have, there's our close and it exits. That's not what I want. Does it exit? Uh, because that break be only on. Break can only be when I hit the illegal character, not no matter not on any close. So that was good. Let's try that again. And we get four plus point six not three five. Do it this way where we'll um, minus m pdb minus command break on 35 dc to keep running and we'll run. So, what is what is c? Uh, I need the exclamation point there because otherwise it'll run, it'll continue. Um, what is points? Points of c. Ah, oh, man. Did not sleep enough for this. Let's see. Need to replace that like that. 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 This is the type of error where many of you were like sitting there yelling at the screen, being like, "See it? <laughs> Want to fix it?" Um, all right. So there's my there's my day twenty twenty six three ninety seven. Uh, 26397. That looked good. Let's put in my, inf uh, my input, see what I get. 
that star. Yeah, we got it. All right, part two. Now let's see. Now we can discard the corrupted lines. We don't need those. The remaining lines are incomplete. Incomplete lines don't have any incorrect characters. Instead, they're missing some closing characters. To repair them, you just need to figure out the sequence of closing characters. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm in good shape here because I get to um, I get to the end of the line, and I know what I need to add. Let's see, well, this okay, case not this is not trivial here. Um, when I get to the end of the line, I'm going to have the queue of whatever's open, um, so that even before I understand the problem, um, come up here. Or see it for each character when I get to the end of this loop. I print Q up here. See, this is what's left open at the end of each line. Um, and in fact, And there, one, two. Huh, I don't get, I would have thought I didn't reach. Oh no, that's, 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 tr that's fine. Um, I need to do something where I need to track. Okay, how do I ignore the lines that, um, Really, I might just do the same loop again, but not now without. If I do this in one loop, um, for the sake of like readability and following along, we don't need all of this anymore. Um, no. Um, we will come in here and C R R U P T false down here. I think under each of these. Okay. Um, if not corrupt, use we'll get the we'll get the ones that just have. There you go. So there's the non-corrupt ones. Um, what's nice about this is now I just need to figure out how to close these. So be, I'll just work from the back and I will get the matching. Thing. Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. Um, I'll do equal do dot pop. Add. I need, to, I need to figure out like I need a way to get the matching. Oh, just a little dictionary so I can do lookups. And well, that's the one if I should go both to so it can take me another second to do it. I might as, well, might as well be able to go because I'm going to need to go both. Uh, now, if I give it any closing, it gives me the opener, and any opener, it gives me the closing. Um, And matching. Now I could probably use that to clean up my code up here, actually. Um, maybe we'll come back and do that at the end. Um, Q dot top. So uh, get the character. Matching character. Let's figure out how to score. Does it look more complicated than 
uh, Final score for each character multiply the total score by five, and then increase the total score by the point value. Okay. Two equals zero. Two, five, four. I'm going to need the scores up here as well. Points to goals. I got my points too. Plus equals um, point two C. Do it this way. Get it. Okay. Sorting all of the scores and taking the middle score. Okay. Um, keep just outside the loop. Uh, first. The end here. I get to there. I'll do in comp scores dot n or let's let's just see if we can <laughs> a lot. Let's see. Let's take this on here. That looks like. Uh, I didn't really need to get the map, I think. Oh, maybe. Yep. That could also just set the points. Okay, so let's see. In comp. In this case, the middle is two eight eight nine five seven. Two eight eight nine five. Um, Parts two. That's let's see. Nice. Now uh, we got it. That's what, good. We needed a fast one. Um, we just had a couple of uh, real slogs lately. Um, let's come back here real quick.
I think I can really improve this section here with the matching thing. So basically what I'm gonna do is if, so once it's not in here, I know by definition, it's gonna be one of my other four, right? So I can get rid of, I think, and just do else. Now, if C equals, if Q sub minus one equals matching C, Q dot pop, else, or plus equals points sub C, corrupt, it's true, break. So I think, now let's comment all of this out and see if that works. Okay. I think that if that works much cleaner. Uh huh. Okay. So I need to. But before I was just doing nothing when I got to the new line character and there, but that works, that works just fine. Um, so that's much cleaner, much, much nicer. Um, so now let's, let's, we can summarize, um, I'm looping over each line and for each line, I'm going to basically look at the, I'm going to then loop over each character. And as long as the character is one of the opening ones, I'm just going to add it to my queue. Um, and if it's one of the closing ones, so it's not one of the opening ones, I'm going to see, make sure the end of the queue, the last thing in the queue matches what, you know, it, it, it lines up with the closing. And if that's the case, I'm just going to remove that last one from the queue because now it's take it out and move on. And I'll, otherwise, I'm going to find the, it's, it's corrupt, so I'll get my score and move in that line because I know the score for the line. Um, if I get to the end and the line's not corrupt, it means it's incomplete. So everything's set up. I just got a bunch of open ones closed. But then I'm going to start um, looping down, popping off of my remaining queue. And uh, each time I do that, the score gets multiplied by five and then gets added the score value for the thing that gets added, and I then eventually get a score for that entire line, and then I can append that score to my in-comp score. And I just need to find the middle one, so I sort them and then get the one that is the length over two, print it. Um, so pretty neat challenge, um, definitely faster than uh, definitely faster than some of my last few days, so that's good. Um, thanks for sticking around to the end, and I. <laughs>